Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, new series of videos. From this video, we will start a new series topic that is a uh, Siemens i7-1200 safety controller system. If you work on industry control area or especially work on PLC programming area, you may know Siemens has uh, two famous series controllers. One is a uh, i7-1200 and one is a uh, i7-1500 series. As shown in the screen, that is a i7-1200 series controller. That is a really gorgy box and a really nice controller. This controller is a cost effective and it can provide a variety of functionalities for your control system. For example, I show in the picture from the left. So this controller can provide like a remote connection, Profibus DP master, Profibus DP slave, and ASI field bus. Also, this controller can provide a built-in Perfinite master and Perfinite slave iDevice function, as well as this controller has a integrated safety functions. On the right side, that's two modules. That is the signal modules of the i7-1200 controller. So that signal module in the safety area, it has a safety input and a safety output module. That is a i7-1200 module style. Other than this, this controller also have a perfect night master functions. So this controller can also connect ET200 SP remote stations as well as other perfect night devices. So if you need more channels on safety or signal modules, you can use the ET200SP, plug the normal devices and the safety modules inside that remote station. That makes your system very flexible and cost effective. So talking about the i7-1200 FC safety integrated controller. So this controller was released basically from 2015. That time, the programming platform that is a TIA portal version 13 version. Currently, the latest version already upgraded to TIA portal version 16. But never mind, basically from version 13, 14, 15, 15.1, and the latest one, version 16, their style almost almost the same. If you just program like a normal application, you could start from the 14 or maybe 15 version. They are really common used in the industry area in recent years. Maybe you already know that Siemens very famous controller i7-1500 controller, that controller also have a safety integrated or motion integrated controller. Comparing with the i7-1500 controller, this i7-1200 controller, that is a cost-effective controller. And this controller are widely used in the machine level or the single cells. That is a typical application background for this controller, especially for this system integrated controller. The conventional safety solutions in small system or the single cell system, usually people prefer to use the one small controller plus the safety relay in the system. The safety relay could supply the two hand switch, e-stop, light curtain, as well as the door switch functions. However, you have to do a lot of wearing tasks on the safety relays. So with this safety integrated controller, small controller, that allows you to program the safety logic very flexible, especially for the middle-sized safety system. And also this uh, safety controller can supply the safety level up to the CO3 and the PLE safety level. And more important, as you know, the i7-1200 and the i7-1500 controller, their programming platform, they are the same. And the 99% the programming style, they are the similar. If you are doing a small sale, you can start from this uh, 1200 controller and the ones you system become bigger and bigger, you can transfer your system to 1500. The logic code from 1200 can be used for 1500 controller. Their code is universal. The only significant difference between these two series controller that is the CPU speed and the work memory size. Especially if you are the starter on the Siemens safety controller, 
So you could start from this uh, 1200 integrated safety controller. So this video is the first video of this uh, whole series of videos. I will introduce the general information of this uh, Siemens 1200 safety controller. The important information includes menus and the website. They are very useful. Every time if you learn a new things from the Siemens wise, you better go to the support.industry.siemens.com, this web page, and search the controller devices you want to search. For example, our topic that is the i7 1200FC, that's the safety integrated controller. So let's search, let's find out the important menus or information from this website. And from this list, we can have a quick glance. So this application example, safety application with uh, i7-1200FC CPU is a very good materials, as well as manuals, application examples, this uh, programming guideline I will mention after, as well as uh, others manuals. You can search it, you can dig out that. So the first important manual I want to introduce, that is this. So if you search this ID number, 10, 97, 39, 68, 4. And this application example, that is very important. From this application example, it's supplied one video. This video introduced the basic idea of the i7-1200 safety system, as well as introduced how we can program, how we can implement the safety stop and the door switch. And second one, that is a safety applications with a this controller, that is an awesome menu. So highly recommend you download this menu as well as this block library. I will use the next video to introduce how we can implement, how we can use this block library. So for the new starter, these two websites, they are very useful for you. One is a video, one is a menu. You can watch it, uh, you can check them one by one, especially for this safety applications with a i7-1200. If you recall from the previous series video, when I introduced the backup safety system, I mentioned a couple of times about that application menu. So in Siemens, this is almost the same. So if you search this application list, you will find out for the different safety level of the e-stop and the safety door. So you can search a different wiring diagram as well as the program. So in the program, you need to download that library to see the detail of the library. So that library is totally opened. You can open that function block, look at the detail of the logic. Uh, so that library function blocks are not locked. So you can open the function block and look at the detail. Also, you can, based on your application, you can change the logic by want. I really like this style, so you can clearly see how you can wire in this application based on this uh, safety level. And talking about the safety level, so we already mentioned in the previous videos, that is uh, the, how we can evaluate our safety level. So there is a very important uh, evaluation tool from Siemens. The same website, if you search the SET safety Siemens, you will find out this tool that is a safety evaluation tool. So this tool based on the IEC 62061 and ISO 13849-1, this two standard, you can follow the wizard to check out to evaluate your system safety level. And once you evaluate your system level, for example, in your system, you may have a the light curtain, you may have an e-stop as well as a gate switch. So you may need to find out how you can leverage the existing examples or the function blocks in the safety system to implement the safety controls based on your evaluation level, right? So next things, you can go to this website. You can search the 10, 97, 73, 29, 5, Search this example, and you will find this a selection aid for the safety application examples. So you can click this uh, link. You can, based on your application, select the case. 
For example, in our system, we will introduce i7-1200 safety controller. So let's select the i7-1200F CPU. So it will pop up the application examples based on this controller. And you also can find out this safety application with i7-1200FC CPU uh, we just introduced. That is uh, this page introduced how we can deal with the uh, e-stop and the gate switch. So when you search this, you do not need to restrict it by this uh, i7-1200 controller. Actually, uh, you can search uh, by the application base. For example, if we search this uh, uh, light curtain, so the i7-1200F won't be pop up here. However, actually the i7-1500F CPU, this case and this example, that is the same with uh, i7-1200 controller. As I introduced the 1200 and the 1500 controller, the program for them, they are the almost the same. So uh, if some applications that 1500 supplied by Siemens, you actually can grab this application or the sample program, copy the program into the 1200 controller area. If you already had a Siemens knowledge or Siemens programming background, there are still two additional menus it is highly recommend that you download and read them. One is the programming guideline, programming style guide for the i7-1200 and the 1500. Another one that is this, the safety passivation and the reintegration of the safety IO. Let's talk about this first. In this guideline, you can download those couple menus from here. For example, this programming guideline safety for the 1200 and 1500. Let's download. That is the safety programming guideline for the 1200 and the 1500. So this menu is just 58 pages. It introduced some principle and the basic idea is how to program a professional logic because some logic, even the functionalities, you can implement the same functions. However, uh, it may be leave some potential issues in your program. So this menu has introduced some principles how we can program a perfect logic, how to prevent uh, leaving some glitches inside the program. So that is the programming guideline safety. Another one that is this, the passivation and the reintegration, the safety I.O. is very easy to be ignored or forget. In the safety system, once the safety module detects the channel or the module itself got something wrong or got an error, so the module or that channel will be passivated. Once the channel or that module passivated, we need to acknowledge the error and reintegrate it, the module or that channel. If the channel recovered. So this menu just has a 22 pages. It introduces what is a passivation, what is a reintegration, and how we can program to reintegrate 1500 and the 1200 safety controller system. The last but not least, that is the general menu. One is the i7-1200 function safety menu. This menu has a 252 pages, so it introduced uh, how we can get started on this uh, safety system, uh, how we can wire this uh, safety input and the safety output modules. That's why I would like to use the, the i7-1200 safety controller as a start point on the Siemens safety area. That's because this controller that is small. All the menus for this controller are just around 200 pages. It's easy for you to have a quick glance, have a quick reel, how we can start, how we can learn this system. If you start from the i7-1500 controller, the manual may be grown up to 1,000 pages. It's a little bit scare. It's a little bit hard for you to start from the scratch. However, for the 1200, it's easy for you to start from the scratch. All right, that is the i7-1200 functional safety manual. By the way, the Siemens controller, if the controller with a safety integrated function, it will mark with a F or FC. 
That's because from the safety wheel, that full name is called a functional safety. Uh, another one that is uh, the entire menu, we can use that as a dictionary for the safety wise in the Siemens area. That is uh, the semantic safety configuring and the programming. This is the entire information and knowledge for the Siemens safety area. So it has uh, the how we can program, how we can do the data exchange, how we can assess the input output, how we can compare, how we can do the safety communication. And uh, that is uh, the latest menu from the step seven safety version 16. If you cannot find some detailed information from the previous menus, the best menu you can find for the detailed information, that is uh, this menu. All right, so this is the general introduction of the i7-1200 system. I will not introduce the two details of this hardware area because you can find a lot of information, training materials from the website, especially from the web page we just introduced. If you recall, especially from this application example, it already introduced the basic idea of the i7-1200 this controller. So in the following videos, I will still use this cell as our application background. However, I will add the light curtain function as well as the gate switch with the guard locking function. As you know, if you read the detail of this uh, application background, it only introduced the e-stop and the gate switch. And the gate switch actually, that is the simple gate switch without the lock built in. So other than this uh, e-stop and the gate switch, I will also introduce the light curtain as well as uh, the, this, the gate switch with a uh, guard lock. These gate switches are very widely used in the robot cell. The typical functions on this uh, gate switch, uh, it has uh, the e-stop and the cell enter request button on here, as well as the solenoid control for the gate lock for this door. Usually, it also has uh, the reset button on the bar. So I will introduce the, the basic control ideas on this area, as well as uh, our normal e-stop light curtain and the gate switch. That's all. That is uh, the general introduction of the i7-1200 safety controller. And this is uh, the first video of this uh, whole series video. And see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.